Hey guys, this is part two of <laughs> what is the toxic situation going on here? <laughs> so we have an empress here and somebody was had was being indecisive of who they was going to choose. So let's finish up this reading. This is part two. Somebody did bring death to a situation. Now they want to offer you offer you this ace of pentacles. And they don't feel bound or stuck to a situation anymore. They don't feel weighed down anymore. So now they are able to come to you and offer you this Ace of Pentacles because they have closed out a cycle. The Death card. So I just want to get a couple more messages before I end the session. So I have somebody see you as the star and they want to offer you this ace of pentacle. They see new opportunity with you. Yeah. With the page of pentacles, they want to offer you something. They're coming in with some type of commitment. Now that they, they don't feel anchored down or weighed down about a situation that coming towards you. Yeah. Because they got their heart broken um, in the th th with the three of swords. Someone broke their heart. This queen of pentacles broke their heart. She's also in this Queen of Wands energy. So this is somebody who possibly, like I said before um, on the previous video, this could be somebody who sell their ass for money. This person is real stingy. Not fruitful at all. Not resourceful at all. But I feel like your person found this out. And it could have devastated him, broke his heart. But then it released him. It was like, okay. This was my time to let this shit go. Okay, now I know you're done. So it was actually a good tower moment for him to get out of that situation. Now that he knows the truth, most definitely. Yeah, because he was burdened by shit. He was burdened. Maybe he felt like it was something going on, but he just didn't know. But he got the proof that he need now. So he walked away is what I'm picking up. So I'm going to go ahead and get to my cards now. Well, let me do the situational deck and then we're going to... um. Step into my deck for part two. I had a hard time getting these messages out, guys. Like, they did not want me. Yeah, he wants a commitment with you because you a soulmate. Yeah, I couldn't get the messages out earlier. Like, I got them out earlier, but, I mean, I felt like there's, the, this karmic energy didn't want me to uh, get this storyline out. So, it was giving me, like, issues with me trying to channel the messages. But we're going to push through it regardless. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody's stalking your social media, guys. Somebody is stalking your social media. You not, might need to change your passwords. No, you need to. If they are very easy to, excuse me, be found out. <laughs> that was confirmation. <laughs> yeah, there's drama queen right here. <laughs> there's drama queen right here. Your person was intervening with this uh, drama queen. Maybe he was trying to help her out. But she was being manipulative. She knew he was going to help her, but she never helped herself is what I'm picking up. She never helped herself. And he was, maybe he felt like that he had to help her. Yeah, maybe he felt like he it was, it was his duty to help her. Maybe it was the right thing to do, he felt. He didn't want to leave her out in the cold. But at the end of the day, she was making his life a living hell. He's on the verge of telling you the truth now, Collective. It says about to reveal and confess about something, about somebody who had him locked down, gripped, and um, stuck to a situation. Yup. You guys are synced in. Synchronicity. Yeah, you guys are, yeah, you guys are synced in. Let's do some clarifications on these three cards. Yeah, you have Ascended Collective. Can you clarify the verge about to reveal and confess, please, spirit guides? Yeah, this divine masculine is about to come out and tell you a message and confess to his soulmate. You're going to have financial support soon. Yeah, they're recalling, reminiscing, 
Six of Wands energy. Someone is going to be chasing you. <laughs> Collective. So, yeah, your person's going to chase you down and tell you the motherfucking truth. And you will be having financial support from a government or uh, some type of official um, letter or some type of check going to be coming in to you guys. To a soulmate connection. You guys are going to be going on vacation. And somebody's going to be locked down, feeling confined, and in mental imprisonment is what I'm getting. So it's, can you clarify? Yeah, you plugged in. I see you plugged in over here. Yeah, this person that's plugged in finna get that financial assistance. Great job. And somebody is gonna somebody's gonna try to retaliate against you. So let's get yeah. Something that's gonna be projected soon. It landed on the bounty hunter card. So th this truth that's about to come to you can be in the future, days, weeks, or months. But whatever it is, it's gonna come towards you guys, okay? Let's move this to the side. Whatever the truth it is, your masculine is about to come and tell you, though. All right? Yeah, somebody's searching for you online, looking you up, seeing what you're doing, what you're about, being nosy as always. You know how they do. They have no lives of their own. <laughs> or your masculine could be the one that's searching for you online, possibly um, watch you from the sideline, from the background. Hey, they both could be watching you, okay? Yeah, because you're ascending here. So can you clarify grip, anchor, chains, weight down, please? Yeah, the, someone feel weighed down in a court situation. So somebody is in court. Somebody feel like they stuck into a situation until after the court process, proceedings is over is what I'm picking up. You are happy though, collective, or you will be happy. Yep, what I tell y'all, it came out. Somebody is looking and spying on online. It says online looking for info online looking for info records. So somebody's trying to hack into your accounts and find some type of information about you. Somebody is doing the most. Gee whiz. Like I said, change our passwords. It's crazy motherfucker. Excuse my language. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> yeah, because they're going through a divorce right now. <laughs> And what that say? Irreconcilable um, differences. Irreconcilable differences. So this marriage is, is definite. <laughs> I got TikTok. And it came in a reverse. So somebody's trying to go against divine timing. You will not win going against divine timing. If it's up, if it's up, if it's up, if it's up, it's done. It's, it's, done. it's not even stuck. It's down. It's done. And you fail to realize the truth. Yeah, your person, uh, like I said, was intervening this person, trying to help this person out. But that person was manipulating them so that they can gain whatever access they could from him. They could have went out here and got a job and took care of themselves or taken care of whatever situation they need to take care of. If you own drugs or something, go to rehab. If you need money, go get a job. If you need help on any personal or, or things that's, that's wrong with you, then go get it yourself and research it. There is nobody's responsibility to take care of you but you, period, point blank. And it's nothing wrong with helping someone out, but don't um, help someone out to where it's stopping you from being help, um, help, stopping you from being happy. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn how to set boundaries up and cut people off because if you don't cut them off or you don't set up boundaries, they will, they will run over you. And that's real talk. This person know that you have a soft side for helping people and they use that against you, dog. For real, man. Like, for real, masculines or feminines, whoever you are, do not self-sabotage yourself trying to help somebody who don't want to help themselves. And that's real spit. Yeah. I got synchronicities here. Let's clarify synchronicities. And who I'm talking about is this drama queen. Yeah. You helped out a drama queen. That's all she wanted was drama. She wanted all the smoke, too. Can you uh, please clarify synchronicities for me, please? Yeah. Somebody um, could be in childlike behavior. Could be trying to sink into y'all energies. Let me just, hold up, but let me not jump too fast. Let me just clarify this card up right here. 
that somebody is about to pop up to your house. A childish behavior. This person could be tapping into your energy with using with synchronicities. Shit. Let me um. Source, can you clarify the ch children card for me, please? I got the desire in reverse. So someone is not desiring this childlike behavior. I feel like a masculine, this person is going to pop up to your house. She's possibly trying to link in with you on a frequency to try to get in your energy. But you have no desire over her. So she's trying to switch up the energies. She's trying to switch up the fucking energy, um, energies, y'all. But your masculine is not your masculine is not falling for that. He has no desire for her no more, and this is why she wants retaliation. Maybe she tried to um have sex with him and he didn't want it, and now she wants retaliation. Ooh, can you clarify the, the desire in reverse, please? Somebody he possibly had a family with. Y'all might have a family. They possibly had a family together. But somebody wants a, but somebody is about to get a settlement. And somebody wants to negotiate. Maybe she know that he's about to get a settlement. And now she's coming back around to negotiate. Your person feel uh, threatened. This person, your person feel threatened by this individual. This person could wear a mask. Clown ass energy. But I feel like your person is embarrassed that he he dealt with this person, especially with, 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 with everything that has happened. Of course, I will be embarrassed too. But I feel like somebody is trying to mend something together so they can receive a settlement. They want to negotiate about their family. I feel like that's this lusty energy. Yeah, somebody wants to have a um, Q&A session with you. But they are not wanting you. Karmic energy. This is a karmic read. Yeah, somebody wants to talk to this masculine, but this person still has a mask on their face. The only reason they want to talk to him because they know he's going to have a settlement coming in. And they want to negotiate on bringing their family back together again. This masculine could have two up to two kids or more than two kids. But they are not desirable. They do not see this person as insatiable anymore. It's in the reverse. Yeah. And now somebody's focused on you, stalking you. Can't keep their eyes off of you. Who is this? Yeah. This person that's watching you. Maybe they was in mental confinement. Maybe this is your masculine that watches you. Watches you. <laughs> so your masculine may be watching you, but they don't feel stuck or confined to a situation anymore. But there is a, a pregnant woman here. You're not triggered by this energy anymore. Maybe you was at one time, but I feel like you're not triggered by this energy anymore. Not, not their name, place, person, idea. You're not triggered anymore. You're about to go on a vacation, collective. Someone feel lost in the situation, collective. You're about to have a commitment, collective. Yeah, you have realization or your masculine has had some type of realization, collective. Yeah, you could be a writer who I'm talking to. You're journaling. You are you are, you you write a lot. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, you are plugged in. You are unbothered. While they sitting around here gossiping about the single masculine <laughs> right here. The trash has been disposed. The garbage juice is gone. Twin flame connection is here, and that she wants retaliation of that twin flame connection. She wants retaliation because the twin flames are coming back together. Yes. Yes. So let's get to the fun part. Let's get to my cards. Well, you know, it's all fun, but let me get to my cards now. And let's get some more further clarification. I love you, collective. I hope everything is well with you. Let's go, my loves. Where are the energies? Thank you, ancestors. Yes, thank you, Creator. Thank you, Archangels. Thank you, my brother, for helping me deliver these messages. Thank you, all entities 
from the light that helps me that, that helps me deliver these messages. I really appreciate you guys. Let's get the collective some clarity. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, ancestors. I love you, creator. <laughs> Let's go. Me, myself, and I, that's all I have at the end. That's what I found out. Hey. <laughs> so that's that Beyonce, me, myself, and I. And I have, you are an ex for a reason. Stop contacting me. This could be your masculine say, uh, saying this, or this could be you saying this. Take it as it resonates, guys. All right. So let's continue. What's going on? Keep striving. Never give up. You got this, community. You got this, baby. There's a karmic, a karmic preg prego here. Somebody is pregnant. Of course, we said that earlier in other reads. This is just more confirmation for you guys, okay? It says, okay, love, you can let go. It's time to start a new journey. So it's time to let go of anything that no longer serves you. So now that you know this, it's time to turn, turn the chapter and start something new. You are not triggered anymore, love. So let's stop wasting our time on things that no longer serve us and put that energy into new projects is what I'm picking up. There is a pedophile that's here in your energy. So this is another energy I'm picking on. I'm going to move that card to the side because I want to clarify that pedophile card, okay? Give back to humanity. You will feel great. So it's time for somebody, somebody to give back to humanity. And actually, you will feel great. You'll feel so accomplished and so refreshing. So it's nothing wrong with giving back. Check this out. Babylon has fallen. And guess what was under it? Satanic orgies and somebody named Sophia. Oh, shit. So somebody named Sophia. And if it's, the, if it's not that person named, that means it's, this is the energy that's around your connection. If your situation is this. Don't take it if it ain't yours now, but if you're, if this is your situation, if the, the name doesn't fit, then that means that's the energy that did conduct this. But let's get back to it. Somebody named Sophia that performs satanic orgies. So that means that this person is connected to the devil and use orgies to get in people's energies. They, their um, kingdom has felt fallen. Babylon has fallen. The devil is done. This devilish energy. So let's continue. This person could have a mole on their face. The karmic tried to sacrifice your relationship. So this karmic that has a mole on their face tried to sacrifice your relationship. This person could have a nose ring too. And <laughs> your pocket's looking like rabbit ears. So my ancestors is saying that this person is going broke. Yeah, somebody with the last name of Hall is here. That came out the deck. So somebody named Hall could have those attributes that I named. And if their last name isn't Hall, it's the person energy that's around you once again. Never let anyone mislead you. Cut them suckers off. Is what my ancestor said. Don't never let nobody misuse you. Whoever this person is, uh, divine masculine. I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine. Cut your ancestor said, never let anyone mislead you. Cut them suckers off. That's what they said. I could be talking to I could be talking to someone named Sean. Or you may have a friend named Sean. Hmm. You need a sage from this energy. Someone named Nisha is in this energy. Throat chakra. I told y'all earlier that somebody was using magic on the throat chakra. That's why I was having a hard time channeling 1919 on the screen. Screen. Express yourself through truth, purpose, creativity, and individuality. So it's time for somebody to work on that throat chakra so they can be able to speak up for themselves. Yeah. Then I got the song, Don't Say Shit, Chris, Chris Brown, Private Party. Don't say shit, Chris Brown party, uh, private party. So somebody wants to do it to you. <laughs> yeah, this fake high priestess want to do it to you. <laughs> she want to have a private party with you. 
But your person is saying that they glad that they, that they chose you. I feel like the masculine is telling that to their feminine. They glad that they chose you. Yeah, because you are strong. You are confident. You are strong. You are confident. And, and you can and you will overcome any obstacles that are thrown your way. Let me read that again. So your, your masculine is glad that he chose you because you are strong. You are confident because you can and you will overcome any obstacles that's thrown your way. So your person feel like that you're strong. You could be a Leo energy who I'm talking to. You're in your Leo energy. Yeah, because you have visions, my G. Yeah, you, all right, that's what's up. So, yeah, he's glad that he chose to let the other person go and chose to pick you. And this person is 98 hot, what I want to say, fish grease hot. God dang, she got that pissed the fuck off. He done left her ass. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the messages. It says, he wants you to show him, he wants to show you, he wants to, you to show him how to love. I got that, um, little Wang song in my head, how to love, how it go. I can't remember how the lyrics go, but y'all look up that song. Um, yeah, the song is basically talking about like being used by different people for their looks or for their money only to be used. But then they turned around and turned their life around and want to and end up loving themselves. And I had a very powerful energy on that. So how to love. So he wants to be he wants to feel loved. Oh, man, I got to let that song go when I leave here. But, yeah, that Lil Wayne song is sticking in my head. Yeah. And the song, yeah, like the song is basically talking about someone who could have possibly been for the streets but are ready to um, make changes in their life and ready to love themselves now and love you is what I'm picking up. Yeah. Somebody named Lopez is here. My collective, you guys are golden. Yes, you are. Damn, that was a good feeling, guys. Like, it was a very pure feeling. I felt that. Yeah. Yeah, the old person say, you sexy motherfucker. You are the baddest one. You know that's right. I know that's right. You sexy motherfucker. You're the baddest one. Hey, because you're the wise one, collective. Yeah. Somebody named Sam is here. That hoe got lethal pussy, the devil, I told you. This person is ignorant. The pers the prostitute gave you herpes. Somebody gave somebody herpes. Ooh, woo. You won, you won a war caused by pain. The third party gave the prostitute herpes. Oh, my God. Let me put that to the side, too, because I want to do some clarifications, guys. You have gratitude. You are smart. You said it smell like a bunch of BS to me. <laughs> or your person could be saying this. My granddaddy, Larry Etney, is here. Thank you, granddaddy, for guiding me. All the seeing, the all-seeing eye third eye has opened. My third eye is open. Your third eye is open. Don't be jaded, love. Wipe your eyes. It will be okay. Most definitely. Thank you, grandfather. Beautiful energy. Oh, I felt your presence is now so lovely. Thank you for guiding me and for um, the masculines and feminines energies who your spirit guys, they are really guiding me with this beautiful messages and the truth and light. Cause I feel love too, y'all like for real. <laughs> I feel like your masculine really do, does love you, but this karmic energy is just in a way. Yeah. The Hudson ancestors are here. I remember source says, it says, have no fear sources here. So let's go ahead and get through these last two decks. Thank you. We're going to get a couple more. And let's get one more. Then what I do with them other cards? Because I'm going to clarify them. I'm going to clarify them with the tarot. That may be another video, but I'm going to make it tonight. About the pedophile card. We're going to find out who this pedophile energy is. 
Pop Smoke is here delivering me these messages. Yeah, I want to leave out the pedophile. All right, I just want to put that to the side. Okay. Pop Smoke is here delivering me, helping me deliver these messages. I will be making another video on the pedophile, the ped pedophilia video, most definitely. Your person is saying that they will never leave you again. Engagement, will you be mine? Your person will be in, um, proposing to you. But somebody is fake that's in your energy. This person is a backstabber that's fake. This could be an Aries Leo Sag energy. Let's look up something. Pop this up. Yeah, this is a perfect union right here, guys. That's the, what my cards is. So whoever you going towards, your masculine, your masculine or feminine, the angels are saying that you, you guys are the perfect union for one for one for one another. <clears throat> oh, let me clear my throat, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> your uh, masculine has to throw in the um throw in the red flags or look out look out for the red flags throw in the throw in the throw in the red flag this is toxic so yeah the situation is still toxic right now so that's why they can't come towards you right now until they finish up a situation yeah somebody's intimidated by you this karmic girl, boy, I'm on my way, but don't give your hopes up. So somebody could be coming back towards your um, masculine, but only for a short time. It's only a short lived. Or they could, or a masculine could be coming back towards you. I feel like I'm picking up on another energy. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. I feel like there's an, another masculine that's come that's wanting to come towards you, but they only want to have a good time for a short uh, uh, for a short time. Is what I'm picking up. Somebody think that you got that tight and gushy. Somebody wants you to shower them with your love. I feel like I'm talking to a divine masculine and somebody else you possibly used to deal with. And my divine masculine cards are in pink. What I've noticed, it's like this is a bunch of love right here. And the other card is another masculine with this green right here and... Uh, make sure you throw, it says, throw in the red flag. This is toxic. So this this masculine right here, this karmic energy that's coming back towards you, watch out for this person. They're only coming to have sex with you and leave you again. They feel like you got that tight and gushy. You're going to have wealth soon, Fehu here. I got the Hutton, Hudson ancestors here guiding me. It came out the deck. So they are here guiding me. Thank you, Hudsons. You know I'm a represent. Yeah, somebody's intimidated by y'all. There's two women lovers that could be intimidated by y'all. Yeah, you never switch lanes on them, collective. You are sober, collective. So I could be talking to somebody last name, last name Robinson. Somebody want a baby with you. Somebody named Myra here that stole your money. There's a plan to the madness, though. Have faith. You have ascended, and I just felt another feeling. Woo! Okay, y'all want some shit. Okay, y'all have ascended. Come on, spirit guys. Confirmation, my phone just went off. Love. Love on yourself. Always put yourself first. So always put yourself first. Love on yourself. And what I mean by put yourself first is once you start to love yourself, then people will see that love and it will radiate onto them and they're going to love you back. Okay? Bob Marley Energy is here. Joseph is here. Thank you, Bob Marley, for helping me with these messages. And then, so it says, fuck what them people say. I'm going to be here anyway. You are my life. I can't let go. That Anthony Hamilton, that's what I'm picking up. Somebody named Hassam is here. Star, there's somebody named Starseed is here. Hassam could be a Starseed. <laughs> uh, between the ages of 50 to 60. <laughs> somebody, it could be um, 
older people here that's watching my collect my um, messages. I hope that I could bring clarity towards you guys. You know, I love everybody. I hope um, that you guys are benefiting from the clarity that I'm bringing to you. So we're going to do one more deck, guys. And I'm going to be back with another video to clarify that pedophilia. And the other card I had, I got to find it. I don't know what I did with it. But I'll find it after I do this. So let's go ahead and finish up. All right, let's get to this deck. This person is saying, I can't explain how they feel. So they can't explain this feeling. Baby, please give me another chance. Somebody wants to give you another chance. Shoot, they want you to give them another chance. Somebody thinks that you're attractive, that you are very attractive to them. You could possibly think that your masculine is attractive. So let's get these last little bit of messages. This video is about to cut off, so I'm just going to get a couple. Ooh, take those. So we have, now, I miss you beside me. And you guys are a part of the tribe of Judah. Let's go. So.